My hometown, Brantford, sits on the banks of the Suwannee River and boasts a population of almost 600 people and one caution light. I went to community college in Lake City, Florida, and then now I'm at the University of Florida where I've been commuting an hour and back and forth for the past couple of years. I've been set on this path to become a lawyer for as long as I can remember. Wrongful convictions across the board, they have elements of our legal system that went wrong, things that our U.S. Constitution is supposed to protect us from. I want to try capital cases and I want to make a difference in that way because if you're able to try the case and get the facts and the evidence presented in the right way, someone who is truly innocent, who has been charged with a crime, will not end up in prison. I've applied to various competitive scholarships hoping to pursue work on wrongful convictions and I've also had many rejections that were difficult to deal with. These rejections made me take a step back and really evaluate what it was I wanted to accomplish as a lawyer, but also as a student now. I'm fortunate to have a wonderful support system though, and my advisor, Ms. Kelly Medley from the Honors Program at UF, she's the one who pushed me to apply to the Rhodes Scholarship. In November, on the last day of a three-day marathon of interviewing over Zoom, the Rhodes Scholarship Committee from District 7 announced that I was a recipient of the Rhodes. I couldn't believe that it was me to have, to have this chance to represent my school, my town, my community. I, I don't just want to be the best female Rhodes Scholar. I, I want to be one of the best scholars that have ever been put forward by UF. My next step is, is going to be to move from my home in, in Brantford, Florida, to Oxford in, in Britain. After that, I, I see myself going to law school and working on cases in the American South. I hope to argue cases in the Supreme Court in, in DC, but also I hope to one day found my own law firm. What I do with my own firm would be to represent the people who are indigent, who do not have a shot with our legal system because they cannot afford the representation that they need for their cases. I, I want to make a difference in the lives of those people especially, but, but in everyone's life, really. 